Hello, my name is Thane Hines, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. You're going to, uh, if you watch some of the videos, you're going to basically learn about the technology innovations that my company has developed since um, since 9-11 and uh, shortly after 9-11 I decided that I wanted to develop a suitable energy alternative to oil and I have devoted the last 20 years of my life in that pursuit. And uh, we have uh, three US patents that have been granted to date. Uh, we have the Regenx generator. We have the Bitoroid transformer. And we have the Regen X motor, which all have US patents granted on them. And they all operate at infinite efficiency. And the Regen X generator, uh, all of the innovations operate at infinite efficiency and they all harness energy that is created. So the, the energy that is created that our innovations harness is electromagnetic field energy. This energy is created Whenever electric current flows in a current carrying conductor and a magnetic field is produced around that current bearing wire. The magnetic field that is produced has the ability to perform work on uh, on a magnet that is in the vicinity of the magnetic field that's produced around the wire. Michael Faraday used this principle to invent the world's first electric motor in 1822. Hans Christian Ostert discovered that the magnetic field that's created around a current bearing wire can deflect a compass needle. Uh, deflect means to change the kinetic energy of the compass needle, which means perform work on the compass needle. So the work energy principle basically states that anytime you have work being performed, you need a source of energy. Now, with conventional electric generators or conventional generators that are operating in an electric vehicle, uh, a lot of people, almost everybody, use the term electric vehicle regenerative braking. And electric vehicle regenerative braking is not uh, braking at all. It's actually um, the proper term would be electric vehicle negative motoring. So basically what that means is when the generator is delivering power to the EV's batteries, the, the generator is acting like a motor which is trying to turn in the opposite direction that the vehicle's inertia is turning it initially. So the generator is acting like a motor and it is 
performing negative work against the kinetic energy of the EV and that's why the EV slows down. Now the energy that's produced in a conventional generator is, sorry, the energy that's created in all electric generators is electromagnetic field energy and this energy performs negative work. So our research um, since 2000 was focused on reducing the negative effects of the negative work in a generator. Uh, the negative work that's performed in all electric generators is called generator armature reaction, motor action in a generator, and, and applied to an EV, it's called regenerative braking. So our research was looking for ways to reduce the negative effects of generator armature reaction. And generator armature reaction, again, is a counter electromagnetic torque which performs negative work with electromagnetic field energy that is created. And so our research in 2021 will be introducing the law of creation of energy to the world. We'll also be introducing Heinz's law of, of induction, which is the reversal of Lenz's law. And uh, also uh, basically a new uh, law of motion. Um, let's call it Heinz's fourth law of motion, where in an electric generator, when the load current is delayed in the time domain, and uh, I'll put the, put the links um, to the appropriate videos in the description box. When the load current delay in a generator is, when the load current is delayed sufficiently in the time domain, um, Lenz's law can be reversed. And the electromagnetic field energy, which would normally perform negative work and decelerate the prime mover or decelerate the EV, now is able to perform positive work. And what this does, most importantly, is that it allows the generator to generate electricity at infinite efficiency. So what I want to focus on in this little demo, this introduction demo, or this introduction, uh, channel introduction video, is I want to explain what infinite efficiency gener generator operation means. So in 2017, the world consumed 24,200 trillion watts of electricity. And in order to generate that electricity, that 24,200 trillion watts of electricity, uh, a minimum of 24,200 trillion watts of mechanical energy is re required to be supplied to the generators. That's a minimum. And uh, in order to generate 24,000 trillion watts of electricity with a Regenx generator, which operates at infinite efficiency, which means that generator armature reaction is eliminated or reversed, 
The Regen X generator can generate 24,000 trillion watts of electricity with zero watts of mechanical input power. And also, in order to generate all the electricity that the world will ever require from now until the end of time, zero watts of mechanical input power is required. And the, the, when any amount of electricity is being generated with a Regenex generator, zero financial input cost is required in generating all of the electricity that will ever be required by humanity while producing zero air pollution and zero CO2. So if anybody is worried about global warming and so on and so on, you can stop worrying about it because when the Regenex generators are implemented into the world and we are in the process of commercializing the Regenex generator technology, um, when it's commercialized and introduced into the world, 100% of all the electricity that is to be generated can now be generated with, without producing any air pollution and without producing any CO2. When the Regenex generator innovation is integrated into an electric vehicle, and you will you can see that as you as you surf around this channel, the regenerative acceleration innovation for electric vehicles allows electric vehicles to recharge their batteries as the EV drives while, while simultaneously the generator accelerates the EV. And the Regenex motor allows for the EV to be accelerated without any input energy coming from the batteries. The Regenex motor is able to accelerate the EV by harnessing the electromagnetic field energy that's created around the Regenex motor coils and it uses that energy in order to accelerate the EV without requiring any input to the Regenex motor coils from the EV's batteries. So uh, these are the technologies that we're bringing forward uh, in 2021. And uh, you can say goodbye to global warming and uh, high electricity costs and um, oil wars eventually. So thank you for visiting my channel and um, Merry Christmas uh, to one and all in 2020 and Happy New Year in 2021. Cheers for now.